Hello again everyone, I'm in Syracuse, New York at the Central New York National Railway Historical Society's model train area. A friend of mine who's been trying to get me here for quite some time finally convinced me to come on out. We're looking at a Boston and Albany 284 pulling a milk train. So this is a reproduction of the Munsville, New York Creamery and the Munsville Station, currently owned by railroad author John Taby. So I'm here with my friend Mario. I've known Mario for 35 years. Uh, he's a great guy. He was an Eagle Scout in my troop. Correct. And I don't know if he earned the Railroad Merit Badge back then, but he certainly earned it by now. So Mario is the, my good friend who uh, talked me into making the drive to Syracuse today to check out this train room. And this is the Central New York uh, National Railway Historical Society's club room, so to speak. Right. There's a, another group that's underneath the chapter that runs this, but what's that called, Mario? Uh, we're the uh, O'Gage Club. So you, these milk cars are all yours, is that correct? Correct, they're all mine, yes. And is this the first time you've run them together as a train? Uh, one, one this long, yes. Brought so, them out just for you. Thank you. So tell me about the, uh, the engine here. Let me get 
full close up of it. It's a uh, Boston and Albany Berkshire, correct? Correct. Yep, 284 Berkshire. And uh, how long have you been collecting model trains? Uh, I think this is this scale, this is my 17th year. And of course, all these cars can be available here from um, Phil Edwards' shop, Junior Junction, correct, Phil? Some uh, of them may be at some time, yes. Right, but generally speaking, any model train you could want, probably you could get from here, or he knows how to get from you yes. or for you. And we're located, he's located on, is it 2716 Erie Boulevard? in the Salt City of Syracuse, New York. So, Mario, if someone, and Phil, if someone wanted to become a member of the chapter, how would they, how would they go about doing it, Mario or Phil? Well, you can take a look at our website at cnynrhs.org, and we have membership information as well as a sign-up right on our website. And so I'm, I'm sure... to everybody and everybody. That, that sounds good, and, and members are free to come here and enjoy the model trains as well. That's right. That is one of our advantages of our office, of our chapter. Right. So, Mario, anything else? I mean, some of those cars are really interesting. Let's take a close-up look at them. Sure. How long have you had these for a long time, or have you just bought them recently, most of them? Or this one is a uh, Merchant's Dispatch refrigerator line. Yeah, so these are uh, these first two are Atlas models, um, modeled after ones built in Rochester. Um, you can see the reporting marks um, when they were actually built in June of 1923. Zoomed in on a little bit there. So these are they're all from the Central New York area. That was the idea with you getting all these, correct? Correct. So we'll head down the line a little bit. Got a. New York Central milk car. Anything interesting about this one? Uh, this particular? came out in a set from Lionel um, during their Century Clubs 2 series. Um, and this was this is one of about 10 cars they did over two years. Wow, so you've got one of 10. Um, I've got multiples. Ah, very good. Now we're going down to look at Hoods. I'm sure most folks have heard of Hoods Dairy. Anything interesting about this car? And the the next one is also Hoods. Yeah. So um, these are also Lionel um, Hoods Hoods Dairyman's League, which became Dairy Lee later, um, who is very prominent here in in the Syracuse area, actually. Um, and Bordens are all local, 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 local creameries to the Central New York area. Correct. And now we've got. Uh, Dairyman's League, which became Dairy Lee, and as Mario and I were talking about earlier, my dad used to drive for Dairy Lee before he became a Utica police officer. Anything interesting about this? Uh, what's the? Who made this uh, car, Mario? Um, these are. That is also a Lionel. Lionel did a couple different runs of them. Um, they are very detailed cars. Um, they work really well with scale couplers. Um, some things that uh, of note are the mod uh, modeled stainless milk tanks on the inside um, as well as um, working sprung buffers between the cars. Uh, and uh, maybe we could take a look at those later or now, whatever you'd like. Sure, we can probably take a look at one right, right now. So. Mario's is you're the you're your own wrecking crane, Mario. I so, am. <laughs> so you designed those couplers, correct? Um, yeah, I did. I uh, designed and 3D printed the uh, mounts for the scale couplers. Also he heavily modified um, the trucks to remove the large Lionel um, couplers. Each one of the trucks has uh, real working springs, fully modeled brake gear, um, and as I had mentioned, the uh, sprung buffers. So. It's pretty cool, I have to say, Mario. Thank you. So, now there is, is there milk in those milk tanks? Is, is it that realistic or? Um, I would probably say no, but uh, let's see. Let's, let's see what they look like on the inside. Yeah. Oh, let's pull one off.
And there are the uh, the replica milk containers tanks. Very cool, Mario. Very cool. So he's going to re-rail that car. We'll continue on with our fascinating tour of these milk cars, which has always been a topic that interested me when railroads hauled milk. Of course, they haven't done that in decades. And uh, here's another, uh, well, this is a New York Central milk car. Mm -hmm. uh, again, was this by Lionel or one Correct. of the... Yep. And we, we're going down to Borden's, also by Lionel. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we've got another hood car. Yeah, we're very lucky that uh, most of the manufacturers have done um, a lot of these proper milk cars for our area. And this is one I've never heard of, Lion Milk. What can you tell us about this car? Um, this is an Atlas car, and Lion Milk, I did a little research. They were in the New York area, um, primarily eastern New York um, and western Massachusetts. And we're coming to the caboose in just a minute. And here's another interesting one, our mother's Coco. Coco. Yeah. E.A. Opler. This is a real cool car, Mario. Yeah, I thought that was a really different um, paint scheme that they had offered. I like it because uh, it's, it has Brooklyn on it, so we know it ran uh, around here. Um, as a Boston and Albany train, it would have came down, um, would have been delivered from, it would have came through Massachusetts or through New York um, and been turned into one train and then came down into New York City. Ah, and finally, a Canandaigua. Or Duagua or a Southern Milk uh, car as well, and was made by what uh, company? So that is an Atlas that was from the uh, that's from the O Scale National Convention in uh, 2018. Um, if you remember, the the Canandaigua Southern was a fictional railroad created by John Armstrong. Oh, uh, which is why I never heard of it. So. Um, they did uh, three different road numbers uh, in 2018 for the convention. Um, it's really nice because it lends a little, again, credibility to the, the New York, the Central New York area, as well as the New York Central would have put um, things that were on the milk train that didn't necessarily have to be shipped in bulk, um, like the milk and tanks. Right. Um, in, so carload stuff. Um, you know, empty milk cans and stuff in in a uh, in a steel box car you know, like that. Right, and and at the end we've got a New York Central caboose, nice looking caboose. Yeah, thank you. So Mario, mm -hmm. uh, thanks for this big tour. And Mario is on YouTube, by the way. Central fan, nineteen seventy six. Did Perfect. I get that correct? Uh, okay. Correct. All right, Mario. Thanks for giving us the the tour. Thank you. Appreciate it. Anytime. Can you tell me a little bit about this engine here? Yeah, so this is a K-Line model from a couple couple years ago. Um, it has been modified, right? So um, I did put a uh, straight um, tether on it rather than the L-shaped tether that used to be on there. We've uh, actually 3D printed the uh, dual drawbar, which is correct for a uh, locomotive in metal. And tell me about up front real quick here what you did with the coupler here. Uh, so this is a protocraft coupler, true scale working coupler. In other words, to, if you need to open up the uh, up, up the knuckle, you really have to pull up on the coupler, the coupler cut lever, um, and that will open up um, the coupler. Very cool, Mario. Thank you. Thank you again. Okay, so Mario's gonna get the milk train rolling.
Alonso from Syracuse, New York, without be told this time. We'll conclude with thanks for watching the video. Consider joining this chapter, and you too can have fun right here in this model train room. Thanks to Phil Edwards and Mario for allowing me to join them today and do this short video.